Genetics has changed remarkably, radically, fundamentally, completely in the time I've been in the field. We are so incredibly lucky to be doing genetics now. It's a magical time. It's, it's the stuff that dreams are made of. I can't imagine doing anything that's more fun. Almost every family has its own mutation. Almost every patient has a different mutation. If we can sort out how the genes that harbor these mutations are related to each other, we can, I hope, direct patients to medications that are particularly useful for them because medications, of course, that are developed for this disorder attack different pathways and approach the regulation of different pathways differently. After the success of mitochondrial sequencing, and we developed this, I mean, nobody was using this yet. This was new to forensics. So we developed it, put it into application in Argentina. I mean, any risk to me was so trivial compared to what my colleagues, the abuelas, were going through. We're certainly best known for the breast cancer work. I've been at it the longest. I think what the transcendent theme is just thinking about genetics, is, is thinking in terms of the power of genetics throughout. But certainly the breast cancer work has saved more people than any of the other projects individually. These are unquestionably devastating mutations. We are not talking about possible effects, hypothetically, that might make a difference. These are for sure, experimentally demonstrated, damaging mutations. And people have a right to know if they carry those or not. I hope to be able to do genetics as long as my mind holds out.